Well, Sharon, congratulations on being our 40 plus slimmer of the year. How much weight have you lost? I've lost 10 stone or five pounds now. Isn't that incredible? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm so shocked. <laughs> what were you at your heaviest? Um, over 20 stone. I was uh, about 20 stone and a half. And what size were you? 28, 30. And what size do you wear now? Size 10. <laughs> I know. How exciting I still is that? I can't believe it. Every time I try something on, it's like, oh my Lord. <laughs> and how long did it take you to lose the weight? Um, two years and four months. That is just brilliant. Oh, now, how did you put the weight on in the first place? Um, I was always big at school. I was one of the biggest in my class. And um, when, I, when I was about 19, I lost my father. And I was so close to my dad. And not realising it then, I started eating as a way of comfort mm. and not the right sort of food, not doing any exercise and it just gradually creeped up. So by the time I hit my 20s, I was a size 20 and then by the time I got in my 30s, I'd got up to a size 28, 30, so. Goodness me. Yes, it and what sort on. of things were you eating at that time? Oh, takeaways, anything with pastry, be it a cake or sausage rolls, pasties, crisps, chocolate. Would you, I mean, would you have a sort of proper breakfast in the morning or? Yes, but not so necessarily healthy. I'd end up having cereal and toast with butter and cheese. I'd go to work and mid-morning I'd get a pastry or a sausage roll from the sandwich person. I'd have something for lunch and again it would be with crisps and chocolate. I'd have a snack in the afternoon, again something out of the vending machine and then have a takeaway for the evening meal. So Goodness. not the right sort of food and no exercise. Unbelievable. So what was the trigger then that caused you to? Um, do when something. I was in my early 40s, I started suffering from depression. Being large didn't help. And I got a job and I went to work on the bus because I couldn't walk. And it was February, we'd had some really horrible weather and the bus was rather full. And there was a space on the seat next to me on the bus. And they mentioned to an old gentleman who was standing that he could sit next to me. And at the top of his voice, he said, I can't sit next to that, there's not enough room. And I was absolutely devastated. I bet. I tried getting off the bus while it was moving because I was oh. just so upset. And the bus driver wouldn't stop until the next stop. And I literally walked to work, which took me over an hour for a 15 minute walk because I yes. was so unfit, I couldn't walk that far. No. Um, and I was absolutely devastated. Say. And it, that's what kick-started, which the fact that I couldn't walk in the first place and get out of breath should have done it. But just this gentleman saying it in front of everybody. Yes. It was an absolutely awful it's thing. It's funny, you look back now and actually you're probably quite grateful to him. I'd like to say thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Even though it was awful at the it time. It was. It was absolutely dreadful. So how did you choose our classes? I wanted something that incorporated exercise because I think dieting alone wouldn't have done it because I was so big and so unfit. And the fact that it was low fat and my diet was definitely anything but. Um, so I looked in the magazine and I found the local class. And that was so daunting going on my first night on my own, just turning up at class because I hadn't phoned beforehand or anything, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Okay. But I had nothing to worry about. Now you went to S Sandra Harnett's Sandra class. Sandra Harnett's in St Albans, yes. Yes, and what, did, what was it like on that first night? It was amazing. I met the receptionist when I came in, she booked me and explained everything. And then Sandra came in with the form, and then the dreaded moment of standing on the scales. And my scales, I used to go up to 18 stone on my scales at home, so I had no idea how much I weighed. And I was shocked, but Sandra didn't bat an eyelid. And she made it sound so easy and simple, and it was. And the, at that time, it was like, oh, my. How much did you lose in the first month? Uh, first month was about stone and a half. In the first week, I lost half a stone, so. Brilliant. It was that, great. That was fantastic. I know, I couldn't believe it. It was like, oh, it does work. And uh, uh, with the difference between what you used to eat and then how was it that you changed? How did you cope with the change to eating healthily? Well, the first, with the first week, I followed the book strictly for the first two weeks and I thought I'd be hungry but because we ate little and often I wasn't and it was like oh okay and then I kept a food diary and I still keep my food diary so every day I put down what I have and so I can keep track of it and it just worked. Isn't that amazing? I know. So do you count your calories? I, mean, I you, do. Do, you, do you? I still do yes. And it's just a habit? We you well, you know now because you've done it for so long you can follow it and you know what you're having and yes. you can keep track of things yes. but it works for me keeping my diary. What did you feel like when you entered the competition? What was that feeling? I entered, Sandra said, you've got to enter, so I did. And putting the story together put on a bit of paper was very emotional. Yes. And then coming up for the day was the most wonderful experience. The semi-final oh, day. Oh, that was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> and then standing there, I had my name called out. It was like, oh, 
No, that isn't me. Oh, it is me. <laughs> I was so shocked because meeting so many people who've done such a wonderful they were job. Awesome, weren't they? It was awesome. It's some yeah. wonderful people. So I was absolutely over the moon and still well, beam about it. I, I think for somebody in their forties to look as good as you, because you have the most fantastic figure. I'm amazed at the change. And I, I just, I remember seeing the photographs and I'm seeing you yeah. and just thinking, you know, this lady, for to be over 40, to have lost 10 stone in two years, and to have a figure like that is just outstanding. Thank you. And I loved that yeah. because what you did was you completely epitomise what losing weight on yeah. a low-fat diet does combined with exercise. It's the exercise, definitely. You don't get a body like that unless no. you exercise. You need to do the toning as well as the cardio. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. But it's also fun. Yeah, it is, it it is. is fun. Yeah. So what are your top tips for anybody who might be watching this? Whatever your situation and whatever got you there in the first place, take that first step and join a class. The support and the actual feeling you get from going to a weekly class is amazing. Keep a food diary if it works for you. Do the exercise, do the toning, and also outside of class as well, keep the toning going because it does work. So do you do any exercise at home? I do. Do you? I tone every morning for 10 minutes. What do you do? At the moment, I'm doing, I do um, stretching and leg exercises every day. And at the moment, mm -hmm. I'm using slight weights as well to help mm -hmm. tone up my upper arms mm -hmm. and my body. But stretching and anything to do with squats and lunges, mm -hmm. it does work. Brilliant. And it helps keep the, the toning down and the well, thighs down. You're an absolute inspiration. Thank and you. And I hope other 40 plus people. I hope they do. Well, they look at you it. and think, you did it. Well, so can I. Thank you. Brilliant. Well done. No, thanks thank you very much. No, Sharon. thank you.